Hello and welcome to the first video on this channel. To get things started, we are going to take a look at how to install the OpenCV uh, version 4 library on Microsoft Windows 10. Now if you're like me, you find developing pretty much anything under Windows a royal pain, especially getting C++ libraries to work because unlike uh, Linux and Unix, there is no standard install path for said libraries which makes things a little bit difficult in my opinion. So for those of you not familiar, OpenCV stands for the Open Computer Vision Library. It is an awesome open source library for doing all sorts of computer vision related tasks. There's all sorts of cool projects we can do with it. And uh, this will be sort of the basis of some future videos here. But before we can play with it, we need to get it installed. So before we can jump into building it uh, here on Windows, we need to first get the prerequisites in order. So first of all, you're going to need Visual Studio. You can download Visual Studio Community for free from Microsoft. You just go to their website, download the installer, and when you run it, you'll be greeted with something that looks like this. Now there's all kinds of different components you can install here at Visual Studio. What we want to make sure we've got for our purposes here are the desktop development with C++. You'll check that, and it'll compute how much space you need. You'll go through the install process. Now I've already done all that on my computer, so I'm not going to do it now, but uh, you can step through the install process. It's pretty self-explanatory. In addition to needing Visual Studio, we will need the CMake build system. CMake is a build system primarily aimed at C and C++. It is the build system used by the OpenCV library. So you'll just go to the CMake.org website here and download the release for your build. You can get a Microsoft Windows installer and uh, install it and it's quite easy and when you launch it you can just use the GUI interface which looks like this here. Finally we are going to need to download our repositories containing the OpenCV code. So first of all we will go to the OpenCV repository here on GitHub. You'll go to the green clone or download button. We'll just download a zip here and we will save it. And then we will also go to the OpenCV Contrib, which are some extra modules for OpenCV. We'll do the same thing. We will download that zip file. So once you download this archives from GitHub, just go ahead and extract them in whatever directory you want. I'm just going to keep them here in my downloads folder. That's absolutely fine. Once both archives are extracted here, just go ahead and create an additional folder here. And we're going to name this folder Build. All right, so now it's time to fire up the CMake GUI here. And this is where we are going to generate the Visual Studio project files that we need to actually build the OpenCV library. So first of all, you can see where is the source code located. We're going to browse to the directory that contains the OpenCV master uh, code. So select that. And where to build the binaries, we are going to browse to that build directory we created. And then we're going to go down here, we're going to hit configure. Now there's all kinds of different ways you can make this. What we want is up here, we're going to choose Visual Studio 15 2017 Win64. This will build a Visual Studio project for Visual Studio 2017 that is uh, targeting 64-bit windows. If you want to do 32-bit, you would just choose the version without Win64. I'm just going to build for the 64-bit version here. And I'm going to hit Finish. And it's going to take a few moments here and it's going to go through and it's going to configure our project. So now you just kind of got to sit back and wait and be a little bit patient. All right, so when the uh, configuration step completes here, you will be greeted with a screen like this. And what you're seeing here is all sorts of different things that we can configure about our build here. Now for our purposes, I'm going to ignore almost everything in here. That is with one exception. So up here in the search box, I'm going to search for path. This will just limit our options here. And as you can see, there is an OpenCV extra modules path. And this is where we're going to include the path to that OpenCV contrib code that we downloaded. So we're going to open up that folder and we want the modules directory. So we're going to hit select folder. And once we do that, we're going to hit the generate button. All right, so once again, after a little bit of time, this will complete. You'll see it says generating done here. And now if we go into that build directory we created earlier, we'll see that CMake has generated a whole bunch of files here. And these are the files that we need to build the library, which is the step that we are finally on. So we're gonna look for 
the file that we need here that is the Visual Studio Solution project, which is right here, OpenCV Solution. So we'll double click that, and this is gonna open the solution in Visual Studio. And it might take a couple of minutes here for it to load everything up. It is a large code base. All right, so once Visual Studio opens everything up, this is what you'll be greeted with. There's a view like this. As you can see, Visual Studio is still parsing some include files and such down there. That's okay, we can go ahead and start going through this. So I'm gonna go ahead and build both debug and release versions of the library. So to begin with, we're gonna do debug. So up here, make sure that we are selected, we have selected debug here. And we are going to go to the build menu and hit build solution, or you could just hit F6 on your keyboard. And this is gonna go through and build the debug version of the code base. And this could take a fair bit of time. Uh, like I said, it is a very large code base. So after you wait forever and a day for it to complete that build, we will now go up here, choose release, and wait a second while it goes and updates its cache apparently. And then we will once again go up here to build, build solution, or again just hit F6 on your keyboard, whichever you prefer, and we will once again have to wait forever and a day for it to build the release version of the library now. The good news is that we are getting pretty close to being done here. Okay, after doing plenty of waiting, we finally have both the release and debug versions of OpenCV library built. This is the part that takes the longest, luckily, but there is one more step that we gotta do here within Visual Studio. And once again, this step will have to be done for both the release and debug configurations, so make sure you do both if you're trying to build both versions. So you'll go over here to your Solution Explorer and see this install option here. You'll right click on that and you're going to hit build. Now this won't take nearly as long as what the previous steps did. And once again, you do it for both the release and debug version. So go ahead and do it for both of those. It will require a little bit of, re of waiting, but not nearly as much. So once that's all done, within the build directory, you'll have a new directory called install with some files in it. I like to finish up by just putting these in an easy to find directory, just on my C drive usually, right in the root of it in a folder called OpenCV4. Copy those files over and you will be good to go. So in a future video, I'll show you how to actually make use of these within Visual Studio, but that is it for now. So hopefully you found this video useful. Just let me know down in the comments if you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, etc.